A $6,000 bottle of wine was sent to space. When it came back, it tasted completely different. This isn't a sci-fi plot, it actually happened. A bottle of Chateau Petrus 2000 spent 14 months orbiting Earth, and when experts finally uncorked it, they were in for a surprise. Did space make it better, worse, or something no one expected? Let's get into the story of the wine that was aged in space. In November 2019, a SpaceX Dragon cargo ship blasted off, carrying something you'd never expect. 12 bottles of Chateau Petrus 2000, one of the most expensive and luxurious wines in the world. No. This wasn't a billionaire's attempt at hosting the first ever space wine tasting. This was a full-scale scientific experiment. A French company called Space Cargo Unlimited wanted to answer a strange but fascinating question. What happens when wine ages in space? See, wine isn't just a drink, it's alive. It evolves as it ages, developing new flavors and aromas over time. But on Earth, all of that aging happens under the influence of gravity. Take gravity away, and suddenly, the entire aging process could change. Would the wine taste the same? Would the aroma shift? Would it become smoother, richer? Or would it turn into something completely unrecognizable? No one knew, but scientists were eager to find out. Oh, and let's talk about the price tag for a second. Chateau Petrus 2000 isn't your average bottle of wine. It costs over $6,000. That's more than a month's rent in a lot of places. Imagine spending that much on a bottle only to find out space turned it into overpriced grape juice. But it wasn't just wine floating around up there. Scientists also sent 320 vine canes, young grapevines, split evenly between Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Why? Because wine doesn't just come from a bottle. It starts with the vine. And just like the aging process, plant growth is heavily influenced by gravity. So if you take that away, what happens? Would the vines grow stronger, weaker? Would space change the way future grapes develop? One thing was certain, these plants had no idea which way was up. See, on Earth, plants always reach for the sky, guided by gravity. But in space, there's no up or down. The vines didn't follow any direction at all, just growing however they pleased, twisting and floating like they belonged in a sci-fi movie. Imagine a vineyard where the vines just hover. For 14 months, these vines, along with the wine bottles, orbited Earth at insane speeds, about 17,500 miles per hour. That's fast enough to circle the planet in just 90 minutes. No sunlight, no fresh air, just the quiet, endless void of space. Then came January 2021. It was time to bring them back home. The SpaceX Dragon capsule re-entered Earth's atmosphere, hurtling through the sky before parachuting down into the ocean like a high-stakes delivery. The moment it splashed down, Scientists were on the move. They rushed in, carefully retrieving the bottles and vines, treating them like ancient relics from a lost civilization. Every single bottle was handled with precision, as if a wrong move could spill a $6,000 mistake. So where did they take them? Bordeaux, France, the heart of the wine world. If anyone could determine whether space had transformed the wine, it was the experts there. Now, here's the big question. Did space make the wine better, worse? or just plain weird. But there was a twist. No one knew which bottles had been to space. The researchers kept the identity of the space-aged wine a secret until March 2021. No labels, no hints. Why? Because they wanted the tasting to be completely unbiased. No one would be influenced by the idea that they were drinking intergalactic wine. The bottles had to prove themselves on their own merit. And just like that, the stage was set. It was time to uncork the mystery. In March 2021, a group of 12 wine experts gathered at the University of Bordeaux's Wine Institute, ISVV, to participate in a historic tasting event. It was a cozy, upscale tasting room. 12 glasses of wine were perfectly lined up in front of you, each one holding a small sample. It was a scene that could make any wine lover's heart skip a beat. They were there to taste something completely unique, wine that had spent time in space. Alongside a sample of wine aged here on Earth, they were given a 30 milliliter taste of wine that had orbited Earth for several months. The goal? To see if space could change the way wine ages. And you can probably guess that the results were pretty mind-blowing. One of the experts was Jane Anson, a highly respected wine critic and Bordeaux correspondent for Decanter. She got the chance to taste both wines and shared her thoughts. When she sampled the earth-aged wine, it was exactly what you'd expect from a bottle of Chateau Petrus 2000. Rich, elegant, and complex. Classic. But when she tasted the space-aged wine, that's when things got interesting. The space wine was delicious, Jane said. 
but it was perhaps two to three years more evolved. There were more floral aromas, and the tannins were a bit softer, more evolved. Hold on. Two to three years more evolved? What did that even mean? How could wine that had been in space for only a few months taste like it had been aging for years longer? Well, that's the mystery behind this experiment. While the Earth-aged wine was perfectly smooth and well-structured, the space-aged wine seemed to have gone through sort of an extra aging process, gaining some complexity along the way. So what's really going on here? What makes space wine taste so different? According to Professor Philip Derrier, one of the researchers involved in the study, the space-aged wine was unanimously considered a great wine, but it definitely had some clear differences. The smell, taste, and even the color were altered by its time in space. Here's where things get a little sciencey, but don't worry, I'll keep it simple. The key factor at play here is microgravity, the absence of gravity in space. When wine ages on Earth, gravity pulls the wine's molecules down, and over time they settle. This settling process is part of what gives wine its structure and character. But in space, there's no gravity. Without it, the molecules in the wine don't settle the same way. This lack of gravity changes how the wine's compounds interact with each other. One of the biggest differences is in the tannins, the compounds that give wine its structure and that dry, astringent feeling in your mouth. Normally, tannins can be a bit harsh, especially in younger wines, but in the space-aged wine, they were much softer. The result was a smoother, more mellow texture that made the wine feel older than it really was. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly are tannins? Well, they come from the skins, seeds, and stems of the grapes. You can also find tannins in tea and dark chocolate. Ever sipped on a cup of strong tea or eaten a piece of dark chocolate and felt that dryness in your mouth? That's the tannins at work. It's kind of like they're the backbone of the wine, adding structure and bitterness. But in space, those tannins soften up, making the wine more approachable and easier to drink. But here's the cool part. This experiment wasn't just about wine. It was about learning how we can grow food in space and maybe even help feed people on other planets one day. Nicholas Gom, the CEO of Space Cargo Unlimited, the company behind the space wine experiment, put it perfectly when he said, we're trying to invent the agriculture and food we need for tomorrow on Earth. By studying how wine and plants age in space, scientists can figure out how to grow food in a microgravity environment. That's huge for future space missions. If we ever wanna live on Mars or the moon, we'll need to grow our own food up there. So who knows, maybe one day we'll see vineyards growing on Mars. It's crazy to think that this simple experiment with wine could change the way we approach food production in space. And who would have thought that the key to growing food on another planet might just come from a bottle of wine that took a trip to space? Space wine may be the future of both our glasses and our gardens. If you could grow any plant in space, what would it be? Imagine floating through a space vineyard, plucking grapes as you go. In May of 2021, Christie's Auction House made a big announcement. One of the space-aged bottles of Petrus 2000 was going up for sale. And not just any price tag. It was estimated to go for a jaw-dropping $1 million. Yes, you read that right. A million bucks for a bottle of wine that's literally been to space. But the real twist was that the buyer wouldn't just get that one bottle of space wine. Oh no, they'd also get a regular bottle of Petrus 2000 for comparison. Just picture it. You're hosting a fancy dinner party and you casually place two bottles on the table. This one's from Earth, you say, pointing to the standard bottle. And this one, well, it's been to space. That's a conversation starter right there. Here's the thing, only 12 bottles of Petrus 2000 ever made the trip to space. Three were opened for tasting, one was sold at auction, and the remaining eight are tucked away for future research. So what does the future hold for space-aged wine? While it's not like we'll all be sipping on space wine anytime soon, this experiment opens up a lot of intriguing possibilities. Could space-aged wine become a luxury trend in the future? Could we see more experiments where food and drinks are set into space to see how they change? The thought of drinking a space-aged bottle of whiskey or space champagne is kind of exciting, right? One thing's for sure. This experiment has proven that the final frontier isn't just about exploration. It's about pushing the limits of what's possible, about innovation, and thinking outside the box in ways we never imagined. So what do you think? Would you try a glass of space-aged wine? Or would you keep it as a collector's item? Let us know in the comments below. Catch you next time. Cheers.